Good morning and thanks for checking out the Burgero cactus. Well, it's actually Burgero cactus emeri is the name, or the golden spined cirrus. As you can see, it's very beautiful in golden spines. It's also known as the snake cactus, maybe because it kind of looks like a snake's head or maybe probably because rattlesnakes and stuff like to hang out by them. But anyways, they are native to California and Baja. So this plant will grow in San Diego and Baja and even on the Coronado Islands, which are a few miles, maybe a dozen miles or so off of the coast of Southern California and into Mexico. So very unique. I'm lucky a collector gave this to me. Never seen it for sale. And you can see the beautiful yellow flowers. Now, I don't know if these the pollen is gonna ever work on dragon fruit, I doubt it, but that's something I'm interested in. Now, in addition, um, I'm interested in trying to find this plant as well. And you can see that this is called the sour pataya. Now, uh, this actually helped uh, sailors a long time ago uh, prevent scurvy. So that is on my wish list. I would love to have this variety of sour pataya to try it out. But I can't complain with this beautiful Burgero cactus MRI. Now it's really stunning. It will grow. I'll show you some of the older growth now. It will grow three and a half feet tall and five feet wide in time. It's very, very, very spiny. As you can see, you don't want to mess with this thing. And it definitely likes some shade in if you, if you live inland like me. In other words, this plant only grows three miles inland native uh, in its habitat. So I live about 13 miles inland, so I'm going to need to give this some afternoon shade and protect it, kind of like dragon fruit. That's how I'm going to treat it. Uh, it is hardy down to zone 9B. And they say it will survive down to about 25 degrees. So the new growth especially is really beautiful in my opinion. And as you can see, by the way, it can be grown in pots, but I'm going to plant this in native soil. I'm going to find the perfect spot for it and plant it into the ground so we get some afternoon shade. I really think this is a beautiful, stunning, and spiny cactus. It does like good drainage, and it grows well in sandy or loomy soil. Beautiful colors and bonus points for being a sandy, a California native plant. Southern California, I guess you could say, and into Baja. All right, let me get zoom out for you and show you that it's full glory. There you go. Okay, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care.